Tiara, you may love me, but I don't love you back. I love BLS TV! Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome to BLS TV. This is our 10th episode and our Valentine's Day special. Oh my god, we're already at 10. Number Double 10. Digits. Double digits. This is amazing. And it's just the beginning. So, we're going to start off with our new Happy season. late Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy oh. February 15th. I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. I hope no hearts were broken, you know. I hope you got carnations. I know, all the carnations. And if you didn't get any carnations, that's fine too, you know. Mm. We still love you. Um, so let's start off with our news for today. Speaking of Valentine's, Sorry. BLCDC is having a Valentine's kindness, kindness card event that basically if you want some community service hours, if you're looking to give back to people who are in need, then you can make some Valentine's Day cards for kids who are suffering with chronic illnesses such as cancer and just to brighten their days. For every card that you make, that's 30 minutes of community service hours and you can make up to 10. So that means you can have up to five community service hours just by making some nice, kind Valentine's Day cards for people who need them. That's a beautiful opportunity. Yes, so kind. So if you- and we need to spread more kindness Exactly, in our world. exactly, especially for Valentine's. You guys have about two more days left until you can submit your Valentine's Day cards for those children it's going to be due on February 17th and you can turn them in in front of Miss Mogel's room 225 to get some community service hours and to give back to our community. I think there's a contest also happening. For what? You know how this month is the month celebrating black people. Black you know, people, black, black, black power, people, black, black joy, black joy, black excellence. Speaking of, there, yes, like you were saying, there's a door decorating contest. It's mm -hmm. coming back guys. I remember, I think the last door decorating contest we had was like back when I was in eighth grade. Oh, like, really? Or maybe it was last year. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure it was back when I was in eighth grade. I'm going to just tell you guys this. I won. My, oh, really? my group oh, won. Yeah. We decorated our history teacher's door. Miss Arnold's? Miss Arnold's room. Oh, That's I the door that. that it's yeah, still yeah. There. It's still there. We decorated it and it was really, it's really so fun. Good. So if you guys are looking to collaborate with your teachers and then also your fellow students, you guys can decorate that teacher's door to get some prizes for Black History Month. Like Tiara was saying, the theme of the door decorating is... Black Joy. Black Joy, exactly. Um, also, it's the competition is one teacher and two to four students, and they're looking for creativity and originality. We're celebrating Black Joy and Black Creativity, and mm -hmm. you know, talentless people like Janelle, although she won, she got a lot of help from people with okay. a lot of talent. Okay. <laughs> After you finish making cards to spread kindness and for the children, you should consider joining the Youth Leadership Forum. Ooh. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity because who doesn't like being a youth and a leader? I love being a youth leader. So this opportunity is hosted by McKinsey and Company for students about strategic thinking, which I know a lot of you need, and problem no. solving to raise awareness around consulting and business careers. <laughs> this is going to happen from March 31st to April 1st. And um, members of class one to three are have excused absence on March thirty first. That's attend this all program. the reason I did enough. I, you could stop right there. Excuse from class all day. Thank you. I will be attending. Amazing. Um. So if you do want to attend, you should oh. apply at the link on the daily bulletin. It's yes. the youth leadership forum dot com, mm -hmm. and um, the deadline is Tuesday, February twenty eighth to sign up. All right, that's awesome. Yeah. You know, learning some good, useful skills on being a leader and a youth in a forum. Yeah. And it's a two-day thing. Awesome, amazing. I am going to sign up. Thank you, TR, for telling us about that. You're welcome. It's okay. actually a three-day thing. But yeah. Oh. Anyways, that's all our news <laughs> for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, thank you guys so much for listening. We're going to pass it on to the weather, weather with by Elena. Elena. <laughs> With Riz. Thanks, Elena, for the weather. Thank you. Very um, much. Next, we're going to sports by <laughs> RJ. RJ, RJ, let's go. We love sports, RJ. Sports, we love sports. sports. Thanks, RJ. Um, thank next, you, we're going you. to BLS on the block with Harrison and, and Devin. Ah! What's up, lovebirds? Welcome back to another episode of BLS on the block. If you've been like me, you might have noticed that every club is just having a Valentine's Day sale. Who knew that capitalism could find its evil roots in our Boston Land community as well? BLS TV is gonna hop on that trend, but we're gonna give it to you for free. And we're gonna give you something that no other club can give you, love. Hi, I'm here with 
Adam Haddad. Adam, how do you make a girl fall in love with you? Um, you need that special sauce, you know what I'm talking about. So first, what you need, hand just hold me. So first, what you need is, you need patience. Because remember, what builds a strong man? Patience. So first, you gotta tease the girl a little bit. You gotta, you gotta be her friend, you know what I'm talking about? What is, it, what is the best place to go on a date? The movies. Yeah, the movies. I thought I thought that was a bad place to go since you like don't talk to each other. No, you can talk to each other. You can count shoulders. Hey, I'm gonna on him. I'm gonna say on him. One, two, three, four. No, you gotta you gotta say it out loud. After you become friends with that specific girl, what you do next is, you know, you talk more to her. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Next, you're gonna bring girls with you. All right. So I can yeah. kind of make her jealous. This was in the, actually in the Forty Eight Laws of Power. If you guys actually read books here at BLS TV. We want to recognize that you can celebrate Valentine's Day without having a significant other. I mean, you can show your love to your friends and your family, and we want to showcase that at BLS. So, we're going to put someone on who's usually behind the camera. So, this is Jason Kwong. Um, Hello. They can't hear you, by the way. This is Jason Kwong. Yes, they can. This is Jason Kwong, who's usually the cameraman. Um, yeah, we're going to feature him because he's not usually featured. So, want. so Jason. What do you do if you didn't spend Valentine's Day alone? You would know. So what's your best pickup line? My best pickup line is, on a daily basis, what I be saying to girls is, are you single? Right? They say, yeah. I'm like, can I change that, Mama Cita? Hi, I'm here with... Jessica. Edwin. So, Jessica, what are you doing on February 14th? I'm gonna go see my nephrologist. What are you doing on February 14th? Nothing. 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 What's an nephrologist? A kidney specialist. <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> so Edwin, you're saying you're doing nothing, right? You're free on February 14th. I'm free on February you're 14th. You're free next to what, about, what are you doing next Tuesday then? Mock trial. <laughs> so next Tuesday you're doing a mock trial. Practicing from root court. I feel like you're just making stuff up. You know, my boy Edwin over here, he's kind of doing nothing. I'm free. I'm, I'm free. free. He's free. He's no, doing nothing. So, Jessica. Please go with Edwin. Please do something. Please do something with him. You're, you're, please. I know you're not busy. You can cancel the mock trial. Please do something with him. You can cancel the mock trial. Do you think, do you think it worked? I, I hope so. Would you, would you hire us again? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, it was worth my money, you know. Thank you. All right, thank you for that eighth grade Riz. Uh, seventh grade Riz. Yeah, that's all the news for today. All right, thank, thank you, you guys enjoy. so much for watching this week. And remember, Sumas TV! Happy late Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. We love you.